Welcome back to part three of Write Data's video series, Getting Started with Write Data. Now that we have a high level understanding of how to analyze data using Query Studio, let's jump into the next core capability, Scenario Management. Write Data Scenario Management is done in Scenario Studio. There are three different scenario types that Write Data offers. First is Functional Data Reconciliation Scenario. Using Functional Data Reconciliation, aka FDR, you can compare a pair of data sets at the field by field level. This option is the most comprehensive way to reconcile data between all right data supported data sources, including the right data queries and the output of query chain, etc. Second is validation scenario. Using validation scenario, you can validate all right data supported data sources against a pre delivered set of validation rules or custom business rules, which can be created using right data's rule builder. Third is Technical Data Reconciliation, aka TDR. Using TDR, you can perform a row count of data comparison between multiple pairs of data sets. Example, row count comparison for a set of tables from a production environment to a QA environment. The data comparison option of TDR compares data at a record level and identifies the rows that are not matching. Let me demonstrate Write Data's FDR functionality using an example to reconcile data between an MS SQL table and a PostgreSQL table. Go to Scenario Designer. From the toolbar, click on Create FDR Scenario to load Scenario Designer with Design Element Start. Double click on Start to give a name for the FDR scenario, long description, and the folder to be saved under. Scenario Design Palettes Data Sources tab contains different types of data sources you can use as part of FDR. Drag and drop the RDBMS table design element to the canvas. Double click on the RDBMS table design element. Select database type MS SQL. Select connection name MS SQL Northwind Dev. Click on the Navigator button next to the Pick Table field to explore metadata of the selected MS SQL database. Search for the table orders. Double click on the table name from Navigator to display the metadata of the table. Click on Select to choose MS SQL orders table as one of the data sources for FDR. Repeat the same steps. Select database type, PostgreSQL, Select connection name PostgreSQL Northwind Dev. Click on the Navigator button next to the Thick Table field to explore the metadata of the selected PostgreSQL database. Search for the table orders. Double click on the table name from Navigator to display the metadata of the table. Click on Select to choose PostgreSQL orders table as the second data source for FDR. switch to Transformations tab of the Design Palette. You will see various types of transformation options like projection, aggregation, filter, etc. If there are any transformations to be done, it's highly recommended to perform those in Query Chain and use the output of the Query Chain as the data source for FDR. No transformations are used in this example. Now switch to the Reconciliation tab of the Design Palette. Drag and drop map source and target fields. Connect the output ports of source and target data source to respective input port of the map source and target fields design element. Double click on the map source and target fields design element. You will see the source data source fields on the left and target data source fields on the right. Write data automatically proposes the mapping by similarities in the column names and how the fields are historically mapped. You may choose to clear some or all of the proposed mapping and manually map the fields. Based on the granularity of the data source, select one or more fields as the comparison key. In this case, order ID is the key. Metric type of fields come with additional options to set a threshold while comparing the data. This is to eliminate acceptable variance threshold. Threshold can be given either in percentage or an absolute value. In this case, set threshold value for freight as point percent. After verifying all the mappings are correct, click on Save to return to Design Canvas. As part of FDR Design Palettes tab, additional options, 
There are options to set email alerts, automatic defect creation on supported defect and incident management tools. Now FDR configuration is completed and ready to execute. Click on Execute. This will submit a request to Rydata's processing engine. Upon successful submission of the request, the design canvas will switch to monitor mode where you can see the execution progress of FDR. Once the FDR execution is completed, if there are any exceptions identified while comparing source to target, you will see the exception count in red on the top of the map and recon fields design element. In order to analyze the exceptions, click on the exception count to navigate to the exceptions dashboard. Let's understand the exception report. The tile on top indicates the total exceptions, unique number of records analyzed, followed by matching record count and percentage exceptions. The total exceptions are further divided into three categories. Key exists in source and target, but data is different. The exception due to key missing in the target and the exception due to key missing in the source. The key exists in source and target, but data is different, will be further divided into a list of columns from the data source and the columns with at least one mismatch will be highlighted in red. You can drill into exceptions using various methods. You can click on total exceptions or subset of exceptions based on the category or for a specific column.